Hey, what are you doing here? This is my hypnotically induced fantasy land. Don't worry. Just behave as you normally would, knowing that I am always with you, watching and silently judging. Ah, sweet. But it's hard. Mm, science. It allows you to do things like this in real life. Yes, I certainly am glad this is how science actually works. Oh, someone made a fun house based on my life? Well, as the world's foremost authority on me, I gotta check this out. Oh, sorry, kiddo, but you gotta be five foot nine and 190.2 pounds to enter this ride. That's what I am. That's actually my exact weight and height. I don't think so, buddy. It's okay, Sonia. He's with me. Oh, Dr. Brom. Welcome back. What? You've been here before? Please ignore me. Remember? Silently watching, silently judging. Two cents admission and we only ever get one visitor. I gotta get a better job. I gotta move to somebody rich's head. Hmm, interesting. Normally, admission is free. Yeah, but I don't mind paying it. I mean, that's just my two cents. Welcome to Ray's Funhouse. To ensure your continued sanity, please refrain from smoking, eating, or wrestling the animatronic people on this ride. They will bite them. I'm not even joking. Well? Are you just going to sit here? I thought you were gonna be silent. I thought you were going to be more interesting to watch. Did I mention to Ray that if he dies in here, he dies in real life? I don't know. Ah, well, I probably did. Maybe. This is among my least favorite ways to be served pie. Easily in my bottom 20s, no sweat. Well, this is a waste of a perfectly delicious pie. Maybe Ray can eat the floor scraps afterwards. I certainly hope that I'll never find myself in a similar situation to the Lobe Ranger in the future. Yes, indeed. That would certainly be an unexpected and not wholly unironic fate. Oh, these were happy times. I never remembered the pie fight, though. Hmm, and how does that make you feel? Uh, okay? Here it comes, my first kiss! I'm finally gonna find out what makes it so much better than old Nan's, which I already enjoy quite a lot, thank you. Here it comes, my first kiss! I'm finally gonna find out what all the fuss about pushing two sets of lips together is all about. Oh, this is my first love, Maggie McAllister. Now, what do you think she represents? I believe she represents herself. I'm in this memory. Oh, come on, man. You've got to give me something. Mm. 
Is this what kissing is all about? This hurts a lot more than I expected. It's your loss, mister. I was gonna let you hold my hands later. Dang, man. Oh, our attraction was... Don't say magnetic! Magnetic. Oh, but I never got the kisser. Oh, by the time I got down from the crane, she moved on to Boris. Indeed. Now, would you say this one event totally shaped your psyche into the person you are today? Nah, man. Boris is great. Uh, the three of us played video games together each week for a long time. I'm glad they're happy. Ray, if you're not going to obsess about this until it eats you up inside, then we're both going to be here for a really long time. Maybe... He's gonna put it in his mouth. So nasty. If I never see another grape in a thousand years, it'll be too soon. I can do this. I can do this. Oh God, the grape is stuck inside him. This is as far as I go. There's no way I'm gonna reach down in his throat to get that grape out. Rip. Well, the upside is... This was a truly amazing grape. The downside is I'm truly about to die. Who would have guessed I'd die trying to impress a woman? I guess a lot of people, actually. A few, a few seconds ago, an ordinary second like any other, until I tried to catch a grape in my mouth. Hey, this is how I got my first kiss from Arlene. Uh, the date wasn't going well up to this point, so I tried to impress her with a grape that I carry in my pocket at all times for just such an emergency. And that actually rescued the date? Yep. After this, we were inseparable. It was love. Hmm. Well, maybe I could argue love as a psychological disorder uh, in... Reducing irrationality in its subjects and leading to much reduced critical thinking skills. Giving mouth to mouth to a mouth that just had a grape in it. So gross. But, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hey, I, I must really like this guy. I'm, I'm in love. The movies, they make mouth to mouth seem super hot. But as part of CPR, he's pounding my chest hard enough to break ribs. I mean, it's nice, and I like her, but I'd just as soon go on, like, I don't know, a walk. I like dates where I don't end up in hospitals. It's a nice change of pace. Maybe... not dropping hammers on people. How do I even get this job? This is way better than attending school. Oh, which is what I am legally supposed to be doing right now. The sum of a square of the length of any two sides of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the square of the opposite side. 
Oh, this is Take Your Firstborn to Work Day. An event that twisted your psyche into the monster you are today? No, oh, man. This is the day Dad got hit on the head. That sure is making a funny face for some reason. I like to make a poopy. I mean, it's... All right, keep it together. If I can convince him that the hammer fell out of a, a passing airplane, then I'm home free. Hmm, that shouldn't be hard anymore. See, this is why I'm so into hard hats and head safety. It's very important. Blah. Boring old father issues. Gag me with a spoon. Come on, let's move along. There's got to be something less pedestrian here.